Good evening, Reverend Carol of St. Luke's. I invite you to join us for daily devotions uh, on page 140 in the Book of Common Prayer at the close of the day. We'll be reading from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians chapter 2 verses 5 through 11. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. But if anyone has caused pain, he has caused it not to me, but to some extent not to exaggerate it to all of you. This punishment by the majority is enough for such a person. So now, instead, you should forgive and console him, so that he may not be overwhelmed by excessive sorrow. So I urge you to reaffirm your love for him. I wrote for this reason, to test you and to know whether you are obedient in everything. Anyone whom you forgive, I also forgive. What I have forgiven, if I have forgiven anything, has been for your sake in the presence of Christ. And we do this so that we may not be outwitted by Satan, for we are not ignorant of his designs. Our prayers this evening are guidance for leaders. O God, our Heavenly Father, who has created humanity in your own image. We ask your blessing upon all your children of every name, place, and condition. Especially we pray for all those called to positions of leadership and responsibility in state, in commerce, in school, in church, and in other walks of life. So replenish them with your grace that they may always incline to your will and walk in your way. Grant them your gifts of honesty and courage, of mercy and loving kindness, and of loyalty and self-sacrificing service to you and to their fellow country, country people. And through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In our Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.